VV versus Steven. I'm sorry, Waypoint Cafe VV versus MBS Steven. VV is going to be using from their large repertoire of characters, Hero, against Steven's tried and true Sonic the Hedgehog. Three, two, Let's see how it goes. One. I will be happy to talk about the set once I do a little bit of housekeeping. Once I get the names together too. BB Sonic, of course. I wonder if BB would play Sonic. That's a scary thought. Housekeeping complete, now I can commentate the sun. And as I can see, that VB has gotten a stock up. There's the up here, up there. Oh my gosh, you rarely see that work. Sonic's just coming in. Hero has activated Excel, and ooh, he's a Christmas tree now. Oh my god, and Psych up. He can't shield. If you shield, that's an instant shield break. Always have to be careful when you're fighting against Hero double buff. when he activates double reds. So the biggest factor in this matchup is definitely going to be about how Sonic, Sonic's raw speed and ability to just kind of break the neutral and burst range stacks up against Hero's explosive kill potential. Which one could do the overtaking? Sonic, like, Steven is definitely going to have to work really hard to overtake the explosive, like, kill power that Hero is offering. Because look at this, for the next seven seconds, Vivi is a shield-breaking machine right now, doing 30 damage off one tilt. Even Weep is jealous of, of damage like that. Wow, and Steven brings Vivi to last up. Impressive. Impressive. It is kaboom, gets dragged into it. Speaking of, oh my goodness, did you see what happened to the shield right there? And this is the main issue in this matchup. Sonic is able to like run in and out of hero's range, but stuff like that can happen. Vivi takes to get one. No, but what the issue is is um, I'm spacing out. The main caveat of this matchup really is just the fact that Sonic wants to weave in and out of your range, and Hero, Hero has a lot of options he can kind of just throw at you for like dancing around his range. He's like, oh, I'm gonna use a spell, or I'm gonna use up tilt. I mean, Three, side B, two, one, or one of my many other options. And that can be hard. That can be really hard for a mobility-based character like Sonic to deal with. 
I'm not going to say Hero is like on the level of Rob Gyro in terms of controlling the mid-range space, but I'd say there's like a higher threat level compared to Rob's reliability. It's like, oh man, I could get hit by neutral B, I could get hit by side B, I could get hit by sizz sizz sizzle kaboom or boom or bang. Maybe one of the uh, slashes will come out. There's so much dangerous that Sonic has to keep into his mental stack that, you know, sometimes it's just going to hit. On top of the fact that BB especially is really good at uh, towing the line of what is mid-range with just run-up jacks, which work very well for them. And Steven, you can see, is trying to keep his distance now that BB is buffed up. Not the worst thing to do. But yes, Hero's jab and grab, not the most rewarding things in the world to hit. Hero can't really combo off his throws and his jab is, you know, just a standard three hit jab. But the jab covers a lot of range and his grab is one of the faster ones with decent range. So on top of all those mid-range options, Hero has ways to just kind of get in close and press a button. If he sees you screwing around the range too much. There's the psych up. The real question is how will Steven play around up tilts? At the moment, I believe he can still give away a uh, up throw, or if he just blocks something, that's fine too. There's the psych up again. He has to block the next. He has to block the next physical hit or get up thrown. There it is. BB and many other heroes are always on the hunt for that move. Very reliable kill move with a lot of rain space covering. It also low profiles. So it's just really good against aerials. Why was I, Sean Numbers, not at Let's Make Moves Miami? I have no idea. I'm lazy, that's why. <laughs> I think that's a valid enough reason, wouldn't you say? Regardless, Steven's been doing a very good job keeping this even, but... Like, it's, it's just hard, all right? I've seen so much Euro going on. Like, Steven is in danger of dying right now. Whereas he still needs to rack up a bit more damage before he's going to be getting any confirms on VV. Alright, no more Hero Hate Train. Hero is cool, though. He looks like a Christmas tree when he's powered up. Up tilt, forward throw. There's another Psych Up. A ledge attack. He can still give away a throw. But getting up tilted is out of the question at this point. There it is, the up tilt, spot dodge up tilt. Another classic from VB. When they read, when you're about to whip something committal, that comes out and it is, it is scary. Oops, kaboom. Oh my! Okay, VB wins. <laughs> what a down air. <laughs> That was wild. This was a very good back air. Caught the uh, high, forced high recovery right there. All by up tilt. Okay. And you can see it right here. How Hero really low profiles with a uh, up tilt. And it low profiles on frame one, so it's very effective. Spot dodge up tilt. Too bad Vivi didn't win it with up tilt too. That would have been funny. But still, this was an insane sequence of events. The freaking kaboom into forward air. And Vivi's just like, I ain't done with you yet, son. I cannot believe that spike. That looked like it should have been sour spot too. Anyway, great performance from Vivi to be sure, but also a good hustle from Steven as well. Good set overall.
Next up, next setup will be J Crew 21 versus X.